Whenever you're walking around with your dog outside at nighttime or perhaps you open the door to let them go out to do their business, you want to make sure they're coming back in. But sometimes they get distracted. So I'm going to give you my number one tip on how you can make sure you know where your dog is at all times. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Chris with Bernese of the Rockies, and this is truly the place to be if you love all things Bernese Mountain Dogs. Well, I just want to take a moment to just thank you for watching this video, and I just want to give you a tip here. So we, I'm very blessed to live out in the country where we have many, many acres for our dogs to run around and stuff like this. But of course, our dogs, you know, you have a Bernese. I mean, they want to be close to the family. So even if, when you let them to go outside, they're not the kind of dog just to run around. Um, but it's one of those things at the same time, if you go for nightly walks or maybe you have a fenced yard, and you let your dog go outside to do their business, you wanna make sure they come back in, or if you're watching them, you wanna make sure, hey, are they getting distracted by something? Um, so I'm gonna give you a tip here, and this is also really great if you have a puppy, you know, or, you know, say between one, you know, maybe under one years old, um, where if you let them go outside, you know, they might get very distracted, maybe you have a rabbit, maybe you have, you know, you could have squirrels, uh, you could have other dogs, you could have anything going on. Another thing is too, what if you have a hole in your fence, okay? What if something happened and you realize there's a hole in your fence and your dog gets out? You know, God forbid this happens, you know, but it happens every single day. So I wanted to show you something that I have. It's called the Spotlight. And it's here, it's a company here in Colorado, actually, I think. And uh, I picked it up at, at one of my box stores, but I'm sure you can go to any, uh, you know, online retailer and, and you can pick these up too. But what's nice is you press it and it, and it might be hard to see in this video here. This is actually Kugel, one of my dog's collars, so it has a little bit of hair on it, but uh, he has a bow tie collar, very cool. Uh, but anyways, uh, so it has, uh, it is red, okay? Or, you know, if you hold it, then it flashes. And what's nice about this is that when it's on your dog, okay, I'm gonna, got a big head, I guess. When you have it on them, then, you can see them while they're outside, you know? And so if they are outside and, um, you know, you let them out, but you're like, man, it's been a few minutes, you know? You can, you know, see them blinking throughout your yard so you know that at least that they're safe. Um, and what happens if you, you know, you had a hole in your yard, you know, your fence, something happened, maybe the, you know, next door neighbor, snow piled up or something and it got a hole in one of your fence pickets or something like that, and your dog gets out. Hopefully if you can act fast enough, um, you can see them blinking. You can see what's going on with them. You know, another thing that's great too is that, say you're going for a walk at nighttime, and you know you're walking your dog. You know, you make sure, uh, especially if a Bernese, since they're a dark color. Anyways, a lot of people may not see them until it's too late. So by having some sort of uh, you know lighted collar, uh, lighted leash, sometimes reflective clothing, um, you know, on on your dog, like a, even like a say a construction worker, like a vest you put on. Um, at least people can see your dog a lot easier. And so what I really love about these is that we can let our dogs go outside and we can watch them and we can you know, make sure that they're not chasing after anything and they're being good and, and uh, we know that they're um, where they're supposed to be. Because just like you, we love our dogs. I mean, they're a major part of our family. So I mean, we wanna make sure they're safe at all times. So um, this is also great, you know, with Halloween coming up here, um, you know, any kind of you know, event where you're gonna be outside in the dark, if you take your dog with you, this is a great way for them to, you know, people to see them and to know that, hey, there's there's an animal there, you know, so. But I just want to kind of show you again, you know, I mean, you can go solid or, you know, you can hold it down and it blinks. And it's just a simple little thing. You know, this, I think we got this for like eight bucks, okay? And uh, to be honest, we got a few of them and the battery already died. It costs like, you know, almost what it costs for this to get batteries, but either way. Um, it's one of those things where, this could be the lifesaver that, that you're unaware of, you know, that, you know, what if something's going, you know, wrong, you know, what if something's in your yard and your dog's getting distracted or what if you see them slipping through the fence or next thing you know, here's your dog walking down the road. It may not be enough time, but maybe, you know, you can see them blinking and you can know that they're there. So uh, again, this very simple tip, especially if you have puppies, young dogs, dogs that might, uh, you know, run around, check stuff out. Uh, you know, sometimes when people are getting new puppies, uh, they don't realize that to puppy-proof their yard, 
and what may seem like a very small hole is the perfect size for them. Um, and sometimes just things like this that you can watch them doing their, their thing and stuff because um, sometimes people's dogs, like if you're walking them uh, to do their business, uh, they're kind of like, why are you hold on to my rope? You know, let me have my freedom, you know? So again, uh, very simple thing. So I just want to give you this tip. And so if you're out and about walking nighttime or even in the early hours of the, of the day where uh, there's not a lot of uh, daylight, this is a good way that you can uh, see your dog for sure, but also maybe too, somebody else can see him too. So uh, that's my tip for this week. Uh, if you love dogs, you know, don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. I super appreciate every subscriber and you're not a number to me. I mean, you mean something to me. So hopefully you can leave a comment in this uh, video if you have something that you do for your dog. Maybe you do put on uh, like a construction worker vest for when you get out or you have some of those lighted leashes. I've seen those a lot too um, or some sort of reflective uh you know, sweater or coat you put on your dog. I'd love to hear what you use and stuff for when you're, you know, out and about or, you know, what you use for your dog. So again, thank you for watching this video. I call it Burner Fan Friday or BFF because I love, you know, giving you videos um, every single Friday. So until next week, of course, we have the holidays coming up. We're going to do some uh, different kind of things for next week. Uh, but hopefully we'll see you next week and uh, hope you have a great weekend. If you have a dog, hug your dog and be blessed.